Welcome to the channel. I'm Skin for Ken and I make videos on everything and anything to do with skincare. So today we're going to be going over my AM daily skincare routine. And this is not the first attempt at recording it, but hopefully it's the last. So as you can probably tell by the title, this routine addresses the breakouts on the T-zone and also slight dehydration on the cheeks. And so the summer is a funny time because you do have to change your skincare routine for the different seasons, which should mostly be catered to your environmental factors. So the summer is an interesting time. So you have loads of fruits that are in season, which are great tea and are great for your skin. But then you have the other side. So acne problems are actually the most common skin concern in the summer. So due to the humidity, depending on where you live, at least in England, it gets very hot here and fairly humid. But this humidity can actually cause breakouts, which is due to the sweat, bacteria and clogged pores. So now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's get straight into my AM daily skincare routine. So let's start off with the cleanser, which is my first step. So cleansing is super important. You don't necessarily have to do it in the day and the night. You can either choose to do it in the day or the night. But for me, I prefer to do it twice a day. But if I had to choose, I'd have to choose the night. So I like to use Revolution Skincare's Ceramides Cleanser. So this is the hydrating cleanser. Personally, I really like my cleansers to foam up. This cleanser is not so much one that foams up, although it does have a nice texture as it's more of a creamy texture that does have some lather. So in the summer, due to the heat, and also the opportunity for a lot more activities. I like to use this cleanser because it makes my skin smoother, but also helps my skin become less oily. Now, the reason you would want to cleanse in the night would be to get rid of the dead skin cells that accumulate over your sleep, and also the oils as well. And depending on when you last wash your pillow, there could be more or less dead skin cells, oil, and bacteria than the usual. And also, all the products that I apply afterwards will be able to work more effectively after I've removed all that stuff from my face. And also, it just feels good to cleanse in the day. So quick little intermission before we get into the rest of the products. This skincare routine is definitely not the only one I've ever used, as I do love to try products, but it's the current routine I'm using at the moment. And so as well as mentioning all the products that I currently use in my AM daily skincare routine, I'll also give some honorable mentions to the other products that I really like using as well. But we'll get into that stuff towards the end. So next up, we have Ren's Glow and Protect Serum. And I just realized I'm about to run out of this one, so I may need to change it. But until then, this is what I use. So in the winter, I notice my skin gets a little more dull than it does in the summer. And I really like to use this vitamin C serum because I feel it helps sort of revive my skin after the cold months. And I didn't plan on applying these products right now. But what I do with this one is I do like to apply my products on both cheeks, on my chin, my forehead. Obviously, you can't forget the neck and then my nose. And the reason why this serum helps to brighten my skin is because it contains vitamin C. And I recently did a TikTok video actually talking about the two active ingredients that are most important and I consider them to be retinol and vitamin C. Now, retinol is not in my AM skincare routine as it shouldn't be, but vitamin C is definitely worth looking at because of its many benefits for the skin. Next up, we have my eye cream. And this is definitely the best feeling product after getting up in the morning, especially because I put it in the fridge and this makes it nice and cold. So as I said, I like to put this in the fridge a few minutes before I use it. Now I don't use this every day, but when I do apply it, I definitely notice a difference. So whether it's dark circles, puffiness, or just general dryness, the caffeine eye cream by the Inky List is definitely there to help. And so as it does contain caffeine, it will constrict the blood vessels under the eyes. And so this will help shrink the eye bags. Now, when it comes to hydrating, besides from drinking two liters of water a day, let's talk about hydrating for your face. And this brings me to one of the most important parts of a skincare routine, the moisturizer, which is the sea seether cream, which I actually helped formulate. So it's probably a little biased, but I would not consider a skincare routine if I don't have this in it. So powered by and inspired by the sea, the ingredients in the sea seether cream help to soothe, smooth, and hydrate the skin. And a problem that is especially noticeable in the summer, which is redness. So it's also really helped me with that, which is nice. So moisturizing being such an important part of a skincare routine, let's talk about what happens to your skin when you don't moisturize. And this is why if I had to only choose two products to use for my skincare routine, it would definitely have to be a moisturizer and of course an SPF. So if you don't moisturize, your skin is more likely to become dehydrated. So as the skin is dehydrated or more dehydrated than before, the skin will actually produce more oil. Now, if I don't moisturize, my skin is more likely to become oily. And this means that my skin is more dehydrated than before. And this is done to actually protect the skin from drying out. So the main takeaway is don't forget to moisturize. And finally, we've made it to the last step, which is the SPF. Now, wearing SPF is kind of a recent thing, as SPF 15 wasn't even around until 1990. So for sunscreen, I like to use Clearstar by Dermalogica, and it is their Clearing Defense SPF 30. And this one is broad spectrum. So we know that the sun's rays can cause hyperpigmentation, skin cancer, and they can just age our skin. So that is why I use an SPF every day, no matter the day or the time of year. So really, sunscreen is part of my winter skincare routine and summer skincare routine, and it should be a part of yours. And good thing about this one as well is that I find it hydrates my skin. 
and also bonus points for it being shine reducing because who really likes that shiny look after applying a sunscreen? And I choose SPF 30 specifically because it actually blocks out up to 97% of the sun's rays. And in addition to sunscreen, you can also wear sunglasses and of course a wide brimmed hat. Now let's look at some of the honorable mentions that didn't quite make it into the summer skincare routine. Although they might because I do change it up quite frequently. So first up we have Horace's Mattifying Face Moisturizer. Now in the mornings where I wake up late, don't have enough time to do my full skincare routine, this is definitely a lifesaver. So instead of applying two products, a moisturizer and an SPF, I can just apply this. Next up we have the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. Now as my skin tends to get more dehydrated in the summer, I tend not to use hyaluronic acid as much, but when my skin feels hydrated enough to take it, I do actually use it. And this one is great because it has more of a liquid texture. I'm not so much a fan of the dewy hyaluronic acid, although they are nice, I do prefer the texture of this one. And last but not least, we actually have a product that I got sent recently, and so I've been using it over the past few days, and it is the Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream by Burst. Now for moisturizers, I do prefer more of a light one, especially when it's in the daytime. And usually when you get rich feeling moisturizers, these tend to be more heavy on the skin. And so this is something you probably don't want in the day, but this one feels super light on the skin and it's great for my dehydrated cheeks in the summer. So yeah, that about does it for my AM daily skincare routine, but I'd love to see what you guys use for your daily skincare routine. So put them in the comments below and also put some suggestions down in the comments on some video ideas that you'd like to see. But yeah, until the next video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.